Florida and Georgia residents are upset at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They say the Corps has done nothing to clean up tons of Hurricane Michael debris out of Lake Seminole. As News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us they're turning to local government to get involved in the fight. Lake Seminole has been in rough shape since a Category 5 hurricane swept over the state line in 2018. The Corps of Engineers has done nothing to speak of in the lake to do any cleanup. It gets worse every year and it's going to continue to get worse if they don't do something now. Petrie and Godsey are sending letters to state and federal officials requesting $2 million in immediate relief for lake restoration and an additional $1 million a year for upkeep and maintenance. The lake's condition has caused a multitude of problems for boaters. Some are having difficulty maneuvering their boats around fallen trees and debris. It's also making a negative impact on tourism. We're going to lose the lake if we don't do something. Members of five different county commissions are supporting the cause. Perhaps the most complained about issue is invasive grasses taking over the lake. The hydrilla in that lake and damage that was caused by Hurricane Michael was, was devastating to our county. and. So it, 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 it needs to be fixed, and I'm, I'm glad to see representative of other counties around. Godsey and Petrie plan to send the letters on Friday. In Jackson County, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Surrounding businesses report loss of revenues because tourists just aren't visiting the lake. The Bay County Public Library.